In today's video, I'm going to be discussing what I think Yoru will look like in Grand Peace Online and discussing various ways they could add it into the game. First, let's analyze what Yoru actually is. So Yoru is the sword used by Mihawk in One Piece, and it's one of the 12 supreme grade swords. This suggests that if it was ever added to Grand Peace Online, it would have to be really high base damage due to the sword itself being one of the best in the series. Another immediate strength of Yoru that I noticed was the range. Yoru seems to be really fast, but also have the range of something like Kiribachi or Elo's hammer in Grand Peace Online. If I'm correct about this, then this is a massive advantage for Yoru, since it will make its M1s some of the best in the game. Especially since because of the range, you might even be able to interrupt combos or even your opponent's M1s. On a side note, I wonder how Yoru would be attainable in game. I know a lot of One Piece Rebels games make it obtainable through a game pass, but in my opinion this would be terrible for GPO and I'd much rather the sword be obtainable through doing some sort of really hard quest or killing an overpowered boss. Maybe this boss could be Mihawk. If a Mihawk boss was ever added, I would expect that it would also drop Mihawk's hat and coffin boat. Overall though, I do hope that it isn't only obtainable through a Robux shop, since that would take away from its rarity, which is important since it is one of the 12 supreme grade swords. Okay, another backstory, let's get right into the discussion of the moves. So in sneak peeks, we have seen only two of Yoru's moves, a rapid slashes type move and a huge slash move. I'm assuming the second the huge slash move is a block break and the first move of course is just your standard rapid slashes with the added benefit of Yoru's speed and range. Now something I did pick up on is that when Yoru is showcased it doesn't have an ability column on the right side. Now this could be just because it hadn't been added yet but it reminded me of an idea I had a while back. What if Yoru was compatible with one sword style? I know this might sound a little weird since most of the boss drop weapons only have two moves but Yoru is the sword that belongs to the world's strongest strongest swordsman. Now in my opinion, it would make sense for that swordsman to use a sword style as opposed to just two moves. Now you might be thinking, but the huge slash move isn't a one sword style move. You're right, rapid slashes is a one sword style move, but this heavy slash isn't. However, this links back to another idea I had and that I've talked about before on the channel. What if different swords could be used with one sword style but had their own unique ultimates or their own unique moves? Furthermore, I really do hope we get more swords that are compatible with one sword style in the future since it is quite limiting that we only have three swords and in terms of like actual mechanics they're all almost identical. Okay so to recap I think there are two main ways for you could add Yoru into Grand Peace Online. The first would be in the form of a standard boss drop that has two to three moves like all the other ones or if he adds it as a sword that is compatible with one sword style but has a different ultimate attack or he could always go with the secret third option, adding Yoru so that it has both two to three moves normally and is also compatible one sword style. I understand why he would make it just a boss drop though, since it would look kind of clunky to have to do Shi Shi Shonson with a Yoru because the shape of the sword is somewhat awkward. However, if any game could do this right, it would probably be Grand Prix Online since the game devs are well known for their awesome animation skills. Oh, I almost forgot. Another key thing about Yoru is that it is a Kokuto or a black blade, which basically means the sword has turned black through countless battles and now has some form of permanent hacky, which allows the user to hit low gear users without having to choose to hacky up on the sword. This kind of passive infinite hacky would be a huge game changer and Grand Peace Online. Hell, if this upcoming hacky update isn't good enough, I might have to switch to Yoru or something like Smoker's Jitte, because you know me guys, there is no way I'm going to try and time my hacky and manage it. I don't really have the patience for that. This would be the first Black Blade added to the game, but outside of this, I'd also like it if the Kokuto mechanic was added for all the swords. A fun idea could be that if you won a certain amount of arena fights with a specific sword, that it would become a Kokuto or something like that. Maybe you'd have to grip over 100 different players. That'd be cool. Imagine joining a public server and just seeing this crazy swordsman just cutting down people left and right, trying to turn his sword into a Kokuto. Awesome. I also think it'd be cool if Yoru had some sort of counter move similar to Gura, as this would help the swordsman close the distance with Logius hammers, etc. Although, with that ranged Yoru block break slash, this might not even be necessary. Okay, okay. I've dragged this out a little bit and I've I think I've covered everything there is to talk about but with Yoru, so I think now is a good time to end the video. As always, I try and keep my videos in open discussion, so feel free to share your thoughts on Yoru in the comment section below. I hope you're having a great day, evening, whatever time it is for you, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.